Have you ever wished you could make an extra $11,000? What if you could do it in your spare time without much effort? In this video, I'm going to show you how we have used the option wheel strategy of selling put and cover call options in 3M to generate over $11,000 in cash flow over the past several years. One of the most common questions that I get asked is, can I make enough money to live off option trading? The answer to that question, in my opinion, is yes, because I've been consistently generating awesome cash flow using this strategy for many years. The strategy I want to talk through in this video was once described by a stockbroker as the equivalent of walking over and picking up money off the street. I'm going to show you where you can find your own street cash laying around. I encourage you to stay with me until the very end of this video because at the very end, I'm going to show you what our cost basis will be in 3M if the put options we have sold right now are assigned to us. Honestly, I was shocked when I saw that figure in preparation of this video. The company we want to talk about today is 3M. Most likely, most if not all of you have some of their products in your home right now. It's known as a well-run, stable, solid, and consistently profitable company. Like any big company, it does have its ups and downs, but it's a company that I feel comfortable consistently selling options in. You see, the first step to take when you're using the option world strategy of selling puts and covered calls is to make sure that you're selling options against a strong, stable, and financially secure company. One way to think of it is to ask yourself, would I feel comfortable taking my cash and actually loaning it to this company and expect that, that cash will come back to me without any problems? 3M is one of over 200 companies that I would feel comfortable trading options in right now. But as option traders, we get a much better return than we would if we loaned our money to 3M. Let me show you what I mean. Now, when I say I've been selling options in 3M over the past several years, please know that it does not mean that we are selling options nonstop in 3M. The reason for that is because the second step of being a successful option trader is to know when to sell options in these awesome companies. Every day, I review the over 200 companies that I feel comfortable selling options in. I'm just looking for opportunities to sell options at a good premium and at a strike price where the odds of us winning are in our favor. For example, let me give you a sneak peek at the stocks that I saw opportunities in today. Here I'm letting you peer behind the curtain to see what I do on a daily basis. I look at all 200 companies that I'm willing to trade in. I'm trying to find which ones have been declining in value but are starting to or have already found support. Out of those 200 companies, you see that about 15 looked interesting today. However, only five of them were in a position where if the return was good enough, I would have initiated a wheel strategy by selling a cash secured put option in them. However, only one of the five paid us a high enough return at a strike price that I felt comfortable selling a new cash secured put option at. That company is Starbucks. Here you see the trade alert that I sent out to my patrons as soon as I knew that this order was filled. We sold the March 18th $95 cash secure put option, which expires in 43 days, and we were paid $3.30 per share for that. Are you curious what our return on capital is for this position? If you annualize that return, it equates to a non-leveraged 29.5% return on capital. Now we're just going to sit back and see what happens as the time value of this option begins to deteriorate. So that's a trade that we did today. But you might be thinking, Randy, can you really do this over a long time frame? Can you really consistently make money using the option world strategy of selling puts and then turning them into covered calls if they're assigned to you? Here you see every option trade that we've done in 3M over the past several years. I won't go into great detail about every trade, but I do want to point out a couple things about these trades. Notice that periodically there are large gaps of time between our trades. For example, notice that on March 12th of 2021, we bought to close the third Friday of March 175 put option. We didn't do another trade in 3M until, as you can see in the line below that, on September 16th. That was a six-month period of time where I didn't see that the odds were in our favor to sell a put option in 3M. And here's why. At the left of the yellow arrow, the base, that was when we closed out the put option on March 12th. At the point of the arrow, that's when I sold the new put option in 3M. As you can see, 3M had gone way up in value. It was pretty far away from its 200 moving average as well as other major support. What's interesting is that when we sold that new put option in September, 3M had come back down to right at the same price that it was trading at when we stopped trading in it six months earlier. When you're using the option world strategy, it's very important to pick the right time to enter your trades. Just because you're trading in an awesome company like 3M, or maybe a Johnson & Johnson, or Coke, or even Starbucks, it doesn't mean that you should be selling options anytime and all the time in them. 
You want to sell options when the odds are stacked in your favor. That's why we have so many stocks that we track and look for opportunities to trade in on a daily basis. You see, we always want to be in positions that we believe we have good odds of winning those trades. No, we don't win every position. And to be frank with you, that's something that every option trader is going to have to deal with. In fact, in my opinion, that's the third important factor of what it takes to successfully use the option world trading strategy to generate consistent cash flow. You must know how to manage positions without emotions when they go against you. Here you see the weekly chart of 3M from the date that I started the spreadsheet, January 28th of 2019 until today, which is early February of 2022. Notice that 3M has been on quite the roller coaster. It had a high of around 220 per share and a low of 113 per share. That's quite a swing for a mature, stable, and consistently profitable company like 3M. As you can see, it's important to know how to successfully deal with a losing option position. For example, let me show you what happened to our 3M position during the virus crash. When I'm looking at companies I want to trade in, my two favorite events to see how they reacted to those events are the virus crash in February and March of 2020 and the Great Recession back in 2008 and 2009. Let me talk you through what happened to our 3M position during the big crash in March of 2020. As you can see here, on January 7th of 2020, everything was going along great with my 3M cash secured put positions. I closed out the third Friday of January 160 put, and since 3M had recently broke out above both the green 50 and red 200 moving average on the daily chart, I felt comfortable rolling that strike price up to 170. So I sold the third Friday of February 170 put option. But then my 3M position, yours and my life, in fact the whole world got hit with the biggest Mack truck that we've experienced in a long time. As a result, about a month later on February 19th, 3M was assigned to us at 170 per share. I immediately used the will strategy and turned this into a covered call position. As you can see here on February 19th, 3M was trading for right at 159 per share. When we sold the 170 covered call option, we were paid 86 cents per share. Well, as you know, the market continued to drop for even great companies like 3M. Now I'm on purpose picking the roughest time period over the past several years since I started the spreadsheet because I want to show you how you can use the will strategy to generate consistent cash flow no matter whether the markets are going up, going down, or even going sideways. Unfortunately, five days later, 3M experienced another big drop. As a result, the covered call option that we sold for 86 cents per share was only worth 15 cents per share. So I bought it back to close it out, and the next day, we rolled our short strike price down to 160 and were paid $1.82 per share. We had to go out almost two months to get that $1.82 because we sold the third Friday of April 160 call. Fast forward to the last day of March, and with 3M trading right at 136 per share, our 160 covered call option was only worth 7 cents. So we bought it back and simultaneously sold the exact same strike price, 160 call, which notice how far out of the money it was. It was $24 out of the money. But because of the volatility of the market, because we again went out two months to the third Friday of June, we're able to pocket $2.35 per share for that call option. As you can see, even when things don't go your way, as long as you're not leveraged way up or using a ton of margin, such a force to liquidate your positions, by using the will strategy as well as technical analysis, you can make solid cash flow even in a challenging market. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. Now you see our current position in 3M. We have sold two cash secured put options that expire on the third Friday of February at the 175 strike price. We received nice cash up front when we sold them for $4.41 per share. This was a position that actually carried over from December. Since the put option we sold was in the money, we rolled it out to February. Unfortunately, as you can see here, since we rolled these cash secured put options, 3M has continued to decline. The put option is just over $10 in the money. So as you can see, it's currently trading for $10.13 per share. Right now, we're two weeks away from expiration. So I'm not going to do anything about it right now. In a couple of days, I'll review all of our approximately 40 option positions that expire on the third Friday of February and decide if I want to roll them out, close them out early, and put that capital to work in a new position, or let them be assigned to us. We're looking at a situation with 3M, so if it stays where it's at now, we'll have to decide what we want to do with it. One option we have will be to roll the put option out and maybe down. As you can see here, if we put an order out there and 3M has a small jump in price, we could probably roll our 175 February strike put option out and down to March 170 for a break even, even for a little bit of cash in our pocket. Or the other option, if we want to stick with the 175 strike price, we can just roll it out to March. As of right now, we'd pocket a net of $3 per share, even though 3M is $10 in the money. 
The final option we could choose will be to allow it to be assigned to us and turn it into a covered call. If that happened right now, I would expect to get around $1.10 per share, but would also be lined up to receive the dividend that 3M should be paying of around $1.50 per share. We do a lot of trades every month, and a lot of them work out great, but not all of them do. I like to share the trades that have gone against us because they help you see how you can use option trading, even when things go against you, and still turn those positions into a winning situation. Now, I think I saved the best for last for you here. Let me now show you what our cost basis will be if those 200 shares of 3M are assigned to us. As a result of selling put and covered call options, as well as collecting some dividends, we've collected just over $11,116 of 3M over the past several years. I'll take that discount any day. Give us a few more years, and if these option trades of 3M keep going like they have been going over the past several years, we'll have collected enough option premium to have a zero cost basis in 3M. If you'd like to get alerts when we do trades similar to the ones I showed in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see exactly how much cash flow we make on a monthly basis by trading options, check out the video series at the link above and description below entitled Option Trading Monthly Cash Flows. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.